I thought that was the door. I was about to say, I better go get it. Looks she's like here. It Oh. Hey. hey, Christy. Hey, come on in. It's a little messy, but we saved it for you. Uh-huh. Come on, Mama Sita. What are you talking about? Our house is gorgeous. You like uh-huh. it? Why are you guys looking so pretty? I look like this. Oh, thank you. It's really pretty. Y'all got COVID? No. no. Actually, you know what? Don't start that. I do have a thermometer to take your temperature, but I know you don't because they already took mine over at your place. You want it? No, I'm good. Come on in, sit down. There's your seat. Oh, wow. oh the antibody is cute. So, you and your damn antibodies. I, okay, I'm gonna find I, it. I it's in here because you know I everybody knows. It. But uh, okay, I'm on the top and type it right there. So put what? No, okay. you say type it as truth be told, it'll pop up anywhere. So nice. All of them. See all. And I'm like a bum. Um, How was dinner? It was good. amazing. Good. I was kind of full, but it's good. I only put it's in good. truth. I didn't put be told. We just got here. We just day one. Wow. This is so pretty. Is that connected to the house? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to switch something. You wanted to I was like, let's switch out. I mean, she didn't want to come to our house. She wanted she that. Let's come over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's switch it out. That's Are funny. you guys going to come visit? No. Not even a... Maybe. Mm-hmm. No. We had a conversation. Yeah. Who? You. Oh, you. I told you I wasn't coming. Did I tell you that? No, we just left some stuff where. Oh, I'm not coming. I told Jackie that. I th- I thought she. Re- Did you? It's you. been a few hours. Something different might have happened. No. No. My word is my bond. <laughs> I refuse to even touch on it, honey. I've had enough of it today. I'm full. I, you know, after you come, you bust a nut and you orgasm, you like done. You know what? I'm done I mean. with that conversation. I ain't having it. You heard me though. You were sitting right there when I said what I, what I said, right? <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Right <laughs> you was there, right? When I said uh, certain people don't want to be involved in certain situations, yeah, nice. and it was we're nice, like, exactly, yeah, right? I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, and I don't want to interject, but. What happened again? Say it again. Hold on, let me get my phone. I want to record this shit. Nobody Go said ahead. it wasn't nice. I just said I'm I'm very adamant about how I feel. That's it. There's nothing to be upset about. Like I just I'm I'm transparent. There's so Kristen, to... did Phoebe ever show up? Cause she wasn't here earlier. She has not. She hasn't. Oh, okay. I hadn't seen her since the reunion, so I was curious. Mm-hmm. Are you guys good? I mean, I thought so at the reunion, but we'll see. No, we haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> but I shared with OG that I thought it was very uh, amazing that you, um, and I, uh, what did you call it? I commend you because you said on your own that you wanted to sit down with OG and you had some things you wanted to get off your chest. No, and, not get off my chest. Okay. But I, I, did, I did say that I would like to have a conversation with you. If you are willing to have the conversation just you and I, I would love that. If not, then I completely understand. Um, well, I offered to leave, but OG. There's no need for you guys to leave. It's not. It's not that big. I don't think it's that deep. Part of that shit either. You what? I, I'm not a part of y'all's whatever. No, no, no. Okay, so I'll just be clear, and then you can make whatever decision that you want to make. I didn't come over here to um, rehash anything negative between you and I. I did not. There has been so much that has gone on in the world, in people's lives over the past, I don't know, year, 10 months. And um, as unfortunate as I think the conversations that you and I have had have not been the best, I have done my best to put that behind me and let that go. And I would like to personally move on with you in a better direction. I guess clean slate would be the word that I would use. So I wanted to come over here to have a conversation with you, to hear you, to understand where you are coming from, to not interrupt you, to do nothing, but in the beginning I'll say listen because I may have a different opinion and I may not, but I really wanted to understand and be very fair with you when it comes down to what experiences or feelings, whatever it is that you feel when it comes down to the colorism thing. And I wanted to have this conversation because I feel like we're the same skin color. 
So I'm hoping that we can have that conversation. I really, I'll tell you what I told the other lady. I said, <clears throat> it is very possible that we're not listening and that we miss something. And no one's asking her what, what we possibly have missed, where she was in an experience and felt some type of way. I said, no, we're no, one, no one's talking about, so I want to. So if you want them to be here, I get it. Otherwise, if you and I can have the conversation, great, whichever way, but I want to listen to like how we got here when it comes down to feeling like people were being colorist. Okay, so for starters, there isn't much I want to say because I feel like I've already touched on it and I've touched on it in great depth and um, there's not much to beat with a dead horse. Um, yes, we are similar in complexion, but there's different things that go along with that, like features and stuff like that, facial features. So for me, there isn't anything that I, I need to hash out. I am very transparent. I speak on things when it's present and then I move on. This happened over a year ago. I don't have to talk about something that is an everyday experience. I don't have to talk about something that is a lifestyle that we push through as black women. It happens, I pointed it out, and I moved on. So when I truly move on, I don't go back and, and, and have to bring it back up again because I feel like I handled it the way I wanted to handle it in that situation, in that point in time in, in, in history. And it's history to me. It's something that I witnessed. I cannot ever explain myself to someone to get them to understand what it's like to be me or be in my shoes or experience what I've experienced. There are a lot of things that have happened on and off camera that I, I don't have to share because they've happened. And I think that it's really important to talk about situations in proximity to when it happens because a lot of details get lost. So I don't really have much to say. I mean, I don't have anything to explain. There's is not we got here or we got there. It's just I'm over it. I, I I know certain issues. I've addressed them the way I wanted to address them, and I've moved on. So. Okay. I'm not gonna make force you. I just I felt like as a woman of the same skin color, and now I see that you're saying that features are a part of it. These were things that I didn't know. So. You are bringing something different to the table that I didn't know was affecting the situation. I literally thought it was a, just a skin color thing. So call it education for somebody who, who felt like she wanted to be educated on knowledge of sitting possibly in the same room and not experiencing it because of the, the reasons that you said. If you feel like it's a feature thing or whatever the case is. So my intention was to literally just understand and hear you out, but if you don't want to talk about it, I can't force you to talk about it. I've, I've talked about it. That's but what I'm I, saying. I would, yeah, that's I what I'm would saying. like you and I, you and I have never talked about it. The only thing we've ever done is unfortunately been at each other. You know, I, I don't want to do that. I, you, I heard you say, and this is not verbatim, so please correct me if I'm incorrect. Y'all don't know me. So they are over there. I am here and I am trying to understand and get to know you without without that aspect of people colorism isn't a part of me colorism has nothing to do with me okay. being a colorist is not who i am so Correct. that if you want to get to know me ask another question or come out it about it a different way so that it's more directed to actually knowing me as a person and not talking about a, a portion of something that happened that has nothing to do with me. Does that make sense? No. Like I don't know how to sense. I don't know how to word it in a, in the best way because I know what you're, see what you're saying. It's not me. I am a very deep person, but I don't express my feelings to just anyone because people take people's feelings and use it against them. So this evening I haven't said anything about how I feel. I've simply said I've talked about it already. I've talked about it in proximity to when it happened, and to me there's nothing more to talk about. Education has to be something that each person wants to do. There has to be a teacher and there has to be someone learning and vice versa because you can learn as a teacher as well. For me, I, I think that a one-on-one -on -one conversation doesn't serve anyone any good because there are questions that she might have or questions that she might have or somebody else and that person can learn from a conversation or learn from a discussion that's open. I don't really like... Um, kumbayas or one-on-ones 
too much if it's a group thing because these topics happen with the group. So I feel like if it happened with the group, it, sh it should be hashed out with the group because then it's not she said, she said, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's not, oh, well, she had this attitude or she had this attitude and now there's no witnesses mm -hmm. to interpret it differently. That's fair. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm not mad. I, I told you from day one, the day I met you, pool party, we moved on. Mm -hmm. At the Jackie's event, her um, PSA, we moved on. Mm -hmm. Skincare event, we moved on. At Phoebe's, um, what was that? The open mic, kind of like the open mm -hmm. mic night, mm -hmm. we moved on. I feel like I've already, I, I've forgiven and moved on so many times. There's nothing really to talk about. Like, I truly believe if I see how someone is, I'll vibe with them or I won't. And there's nothing wrong if you, if you don't get along. You just don't have to, like you said, we don't have to bicker. But again, I'm not mad at anybody but I'm here to listen. I was told you had stuff you wanted to say, so I'm trying to listen. No, I didn't say get off your chest. I said Kristen wants to talk to you. Yeah, and my, my, for me, the conversation was, and I could, I feel like when we've had conversations in the past, I probably interrupted you, right? I probably was talking before even hearing everything that you were trying to say because I was already ready for it. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to understand your point of view about a very specific subject that I felt was relevant in the time that we are in. I wanted to understand your point of view, being of the same skin tone, um, and you've already enlightened me that it is not, it gets past that. It wasn't even anything we needed to go back and forth about. It really could have been you educating me on how you feel me even agreeing or not agreeing with it but at least I had insight on why and damn I missed that when this happened those those sorts of things but like I said I mean I can't this is this is all that I can do this is all that I can do I wanted to hear you and if you don't have anything to say then there's nothing for me to listen to can somebody make some clarity out of this I thought you had something you wanted to say. I, I just see my my she my thing, Kristen, and what I was saying. I didn't miss it. I just I thought it was really sweet, and I still do that. You said I want to talk to OG myself. Mm -hmm. I did. I, if I'd have known it was about the colorism issue, mm -hmm. I would have relayed that to her. Yeah, I didn't tell but, Jackie what it was about. Yeah, I had no I idea, didn't. or I would have said it. To well, you. so my you haven't talked about it. What do you want to talk about? That, that, I well, you have to lead the conversation, well, though. Well, the conversation was asking you a question, and you chose to answer by saying that you don't want to talk about it. I, I would love to know, maybe I'll be more specific, why do you feel like you experience colorism in this group? I, yeah, I don't want to share that with you. Yeah, okay. yeah. That specific topic, no. Okay. Yeah. That's, that, that yeah. is the conversation yeah. that I'm I good. came to have. And she doesn't want to have it. I can do nothing but respect that. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I, listen, you heard me say my whole thing is, if I can help in any way, mm -hmm. and all of us should do this and want this openness to have grown women conversations and move forward. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what you guys are having is a grown woman conversation. Agree to disagree or not disagree. What I don't like is a, a snooty, uppity bitch, and I ain't saying that's you, just rude and making shit worse in our group. And no one's doing that. So let's not do that. Let's just keep the communication open. Who knows what could happen? If OG doesn't want to talk about it, it's <coughs> great that you're respecting that. I didn't know what it was, so all I said is Kristen wants to yeah, talk to you. That was it. Can I ask you this? You've been present for different events. Mm -hmm. You've been present where there's been name calling, correct? You remember, do you recall Are those you events? Are you saying name calling just to you or in general? Towards me. I'm speaking towards me because you wanted to know my, per, my, like my perspective. So you've been present when I've been called different names, correct? I have been present. I, there's a, a specific situation I can think about where you were called a name. Okay. Correct? So that in itself should be the epitome of, or a baseline of where to start with this group. The, the fact that I can literally say every single person in the circle has had a, a judgment or something to say about me before they met me speaks volumes. If I can say that girls have openly admitted that they've Googled me and passed judgment on me, that's gonna be solely based off, off of appearance. You don't know me that speaks volumes, that's the baseline. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like I, I'm putting a wall up, but I have to protect my sanity, mm -hmm. my peace, and, and, and just my overall everything. Like these are things that 
aren't going to happen in one conversation. That's like trying to explain slavery or explain the Holocaust in one conversation. You can't do that because it's generational. Um, it's also something that, how can I word this without sounding too frank? What I'm saying is it's learned behaviors. It's taught. And so you are either aware of it some people are naive, and naive being naive is not a bad thing, so I don't want anyone to take that negatively. Some people are naive to certain things until they're forced to see it. And I think because of what's been happening with COVID, I think because of what happened to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and all these people that we were forced to see their situations because our lives had to stop so that we could pay attention to theirs is what's opening everybody's eyes. But I've already been awoke. I've already seen it. I've already experienced it. So for me, there's no point in hashing out all those things because it's not a one conversation topic. That's what I'm trying to relay to you. It's deeper than that. So. Can I ask you a question? Or can, sure, I, can sure. I, I? So the instance that I was recalling mentally was someone called you unattractive. How, or is that a, is that a separate thing from the colorism issue. She didn't just say unattractive. Now, whether everybody was paying attention because there was yelling, mm -hmm. and I took the yelling till I couldn't take it no more. Mm -hmm. She didn't just say that. So that's what I mean by it's important to talk about it when it's relevant to the time, because mm -hmm. then you miss out on details and no one has a perfect memory. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of things that were said, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of things that, like I said, on and off camera. Mm -hmm. And people forget that they have mics on. People forget that we are interacting in a different dynamic. And I, all of this, me, I learned early on, it's very important to try to remember what you say, because even in a situation with us, I thought I said something differently, but when it plays back to me, and when I rehear myself, I'm like, oh shit, I did say it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the, is he comment, da, da 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 all that stuff. I didn't even remember saying it like that, but I was in the heat of the moment. Mm -hmm. But I was able to relive it because we talked about it closer in proximity to when it happened. You see what I mean? So it just depends. Like, to me, I wanted to have fun. I was hesitant to come on this girl's trip because I'm in a different space. But at the same time, you know, I wanted to have fun. I wanted to see my girls, you know, so. And that's what I intend on doing. Yeah. I mean, I think we are going to have fun. Yeah. And I think the first step was you even trying to understand. I think everyone wants to understand, mm -hmm. but I don't want the words in nobody's mouth. My whole thing, like I said, and it's going to continue to be is for people to get along. When I get involved, and I, I am guilty of, when I'm mad, I will vent and I will say shit, but not none of this. I'm just saying in general. I'm working on getting better with that. Mm -hmm. But you would rather me say something than to do something. So for me, it's I, I, care, here, I care about everybody here, or I wouldn't even be entertaining it. And the only thing I related to her was you wanted to talk. That was it. Nothing more. I know you like to say people add on dubs, no dubs. It was just that. Like yeah, you do. Jackie, you be at dubs. No, what? Maybe you dubs. Dubs. Shit, I don't. Dubs, dubs. is extras. Extra but shit. I just want you to know, Kristen, because I know you're going to probably have the conversation with the ladies. And I know, you know, when things are kind of like OG said, when it's not, when you, you got to try to figure out what people and how it was taken and how it was said if you're not there to hear it. That's all it was. And let, me, let me say this. Uh -huh. I'm going to speak for myself. If it is possible, if I ever, we done had our shit. I know I done done said some fucked up shit, but I, um, to me, the, that, this topic, this colorism, this racism, um, is such a big deal. I have been in a situation to be, fortunate is not even the right word because it's such an unfortunate situation, but in a situation to have learned and been educated and eyes really open to what is really happening in our community. And that is no nothing anyone should experience. It, it, it's a time that we live in, it must be real, racism <clears throat> is not going away. Thank God we do, or it feels like we have kind of a clean slate with this new president, but um, I have never felt that way in this group. I, um, can I? Sorry. Go Just to be clear. It is what I experienced. I want that to be clear. 
I have not shared my feelings. Okay, can you explain that to me? What is it? Feelings on an emotional level, I have not shared that with anybody. Got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's, okay. I'm, 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 I expressed what I experienced. Okay. I expressed what I witnessed. And I, I really don't want to have to go down the line to point out everything. That's, that's going to be counterproductive to me. Okay. Because there, the one instance that you only remember, I can remember three or four of just you. So that's what I'm saying by it's wait, subject. Wait, wait, I, did, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I did something that made you feel like I was being a colorist? Not made me feel I'm like sorry, anything. I'm sorry, experience colorism with me? For example, everybody, or well, I think everybody is familiar with terms like angry black woman. Okay, That term is associated with colorism. They paint predominantly dark-skinned women as angry, aggressive, this, that, combative, whatever word you want to plug in. If I am doing a behavior where I'm using my mouth and I'm expressing to you, you or you, how I feel about something, or I'm expressing to you an experience and it's constantly getting shut down or it's manipulated and reversed as if I'm the problem, that is associated with angry black woman syndrome and colorism. They link together. Now, if somebody of a lighter complexion or a different ethnicity is doing the same exact thing I'm doing and worse, taking it to a physical level, that is colorism. You're not holding that person accountable because of their appearance, their complexion, their features, whatever you choose to judge them by, you think what they did is less than, than what the dark-skinned, angry black woman, quote unquote, did because of what? There's only two things that are separating them as the pendulum, the color of their skin. You were at the reunion. I was. You were at the reunion. Mm -hmm. To segregate somebody who hasn't laid a finger on anyone is a problem. Did you explain the way? I did not. I feel like all of these conversations, didn't I tell you guys? I said, I'm not putting words in her mouth, I'd rather. So can I ask you a question about that part of it? Um, I don't want to, I don't want this to be a question, question, question. No, 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 no. I, I want to tell you something, but if okay. you want to hear it from the horse's mouth, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. So mm -hmm. I learned today why you sat differently. Now, the person who knew the information can tell you herself so that I don't fuck it up, or... I can tell you what I heard, and I might leave out a word or two because I wasn't <laughs> writing it down. Nobody's saying shit wrong. Or I can tell you what I learned today. But if you don't want to hear from me, then I won't. So that was my only question. I'd rather hear it from the horse's mouth. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay. I won't say anything else. Did you know what was going on when it happened? What part? At the reunion. With her sitting on a different stage? Yeah, like I, so me personally, I didn't know what was going on until we got to the stage, which is what I explained to you earlier. So I'm just curious if you knew what was happening prior to hitting the stage. I knew when I stepped up the stairs and saw the seating arrangement. Oh, see on it, okay. And I learned today the real of why it was, how it was, which I don't think any of us knew in depth because apparently that's above the pay grade, right? Too this much above your my pay grade is above everything. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I, I, I you know. know I'm saying, I like, feel. I feel like. Were you happy I, with what you no, had? No, I don't think Jackie was today? privy to what was. Going I understood. On. No, I wasn't. I was privy when they asked me to go over there and talk to OG, which is my oh, friend. Yeah. And I went over there and talked to her. What but um, what yeah, I'm I saying know, is, I, I, what, what Kristen is trying to say is the situation with Tammy was supposed to come to the reunion and so on and so forth. That's but like true. you said, let OG and Shawnee have that conversation because that is something that has nothing to do with any of us. And it's not a bad thing, but <clears> I don't know. So I don't want the words either, Kristen. And I, I get what you're saying. So, you know, that's probably something y'all should probably have. At the end of the day, that day, it was told to me in the moment that it was because people felt threatened. That's what was told to me. So any new creation of a reason after the fact, I'm going off of what happened in the moment. So that's what happened. 
that's what was told to me. And um, yeah, I, like I said, I don't want to have to go down the line. Everybody knows what they did. I think it's important for people to be accountable. I think it's important for people to own up to stuff without asking questions to, to, to know what they did wrong, because then that defeats the purpose. If you don't recognize what you did, then there is no learning experience. You have to dig deep, recognize what you did. If you feel you did something, if you feel you didn't do anything, that's the other option too. There's options. But for me, I'm not going to just pretend like I'm innocent. I did not do anything first, I can say that. I never came into this group attacking anyone. And to date, I have not mentioned anything about anyone's appearance in a negative way. If I pointed out a wig, I said a wig. I didn't say it was ugly. I didn't say it was pretty. I didn't say anything nasty about it. I just said, you have a wig on. And that's not a negative thing. A lot of us wear wigs. I openly wear wigs and I'm not trying to pretend like this wig is my real hair because I have hair and I protect it with my wigs. That's a protective style. So I've never said, oh, you're ugly or your boobs are gross or your titties go like this or tearing down women. I don't do that. I don't have the energy. I don't even remember what some people, somebody asked me what somebody was wearing at the reunion. I said something totally different because I couldn't even remember what she was wearing because was all I knew, not you. I did say that. <laughs> I was asked. I said, I it, 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 and it, you know. Me. Like, I couldn't remember, I, I forgot Cece had a yellow dress on, I, I, thought, I said, I think she, she had animal print. That should tell you how much I don't really analyze people to the point where I want to like, tear them up or down. Like, I just, pretty is pretty, everybody's subjective, but one thing I have not done in this group has single-handedly called people like disrespectful things about their appearance or tore them down. Have I defended myself? Yes, and I will always defend myself. I will always choose me over anybody who's attacking me. Period. That's hands down. So that's never going to change. That's how I've always been since I was a child. So that's me. I know me. So, yeah, I don't know. So I have one thing that I personally have to say I disagree with. I don't know if it's fair for you to say that um, people can't ask questions to see if they've done something wrong. Because to be 100 with you, I know the shit that I've said. And I know the shit that I've said in anger. And um, those aren't proud moments for me. But on... Everything I cannot or I refuse to, maybe you could show me differently, make feel like I ever made you feel that I was a colorist. I don't feel like I, I am even close to that box. But maybe you could say, Kristen, you did X, Y, and Z, and I would feel like I wasn't being, I didn't. Let me explain to you, and I, I'm going to just be all the way 100 right now. This is probably going to sound crazy as shit. When you and I met, I made a dumb ass, ignorant ass comment, okay? I never looked at you, you, or you any differently than me. I never looked at you, OG, and said you are a, a, a woman from Africa, and that's dumb on my part. I looked at us all as black women. So I um, basically ignorantly belittled your culture, not the stupid ass comment I made. I'm just talking about the mental of physically looking at each other. I belittled your heritage and Basically, you probably, you being more educated and more knowledgeable about where you come from versus me. I was then educated about who I am, which at damn near 36 years old, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like th There were things about my culture that I dismiss when people say, Kristen, um, what are you? I've always just said black because that's what I knew because I wasn't educated enough to understand people that I'm a part of. So that's my own thing. So for you to sit up here and say that um, basically asking a question, that's what I do, I ask questions to understand, because right now, looking at you, I know some shit that I said, but I can't relate it to ever being a colorist towards you. So, I, again, I, I hope it didn't come out the way you're making it. I, I wanted to be clear, it wasn't, I wasn't making that a bad comment, I was just saying, if you have to ask a question mm -hmm. to understand what you did wrong, it defeats the purpose of you coming to the realization on your own, is what I meant. And oh, that's what okay. I said. I'm not saying that don't. everybody's different. I'm not expecting you to, to process things like me. You asked me a question, and I'm just saying, if you have to ask a question like, girl, what I did, what did I do wrong? Tell me what I did wrong so I can say sorry. Okay, you took my wine. Okay, I'm sorry for taking your wine. But you know you physically took the wine and it wasn't yours. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
people have to have epiphanies. People have to come to their own realization and wake up to things that they did good or bad on their own. And that's when it becomes a deeper level. I'm not saying it's bad to ask questions. There's no such thing as a, dust, a dumb question except a question not asked. What I'm saying is, if you have to constantly be told what you did to offend someone, then you yourself have not recognized it on your own. That's what I mean. Okay. And, and it's sense. important to recognize things on your own because then you have your journey, not the journey I told you to have. Do you see what I mean? I see what you're saying. Okay. So what I'm going to say in this moment is unless you need to tell me something, I stand firm and positive that I have not been that way with you. Okay. So do you remember that day? Thank you. This is what I need. No. To, yes, tell me. I think I think it's very it's very telling when someone feels offended when no names were mentioned. I literally said, you I offended? you're saying you're you're standing firm that you didn't I, make I, me I, feel like I've asked you. Okay, I'm, so let me finish. What I mean is it's it's very telling that you can have a position, a word like that, instead of feeling offended, since that okay. came out differently. Have a position so strongly for mm -hmm. something that I never even named you. I never said, you, Jackie Christie, are this. You, Chris, I never said that. I said, I think there is a colorist, colorism issue in the group. I didn't name anybody. No, so I that. that's, that's very telling. If you, if you feel a way so passionately about something, it's telling. I never, I never said you, but no, there's things that everybody has, there's things that everybody has done and it stands out to me as an issue in the black community as a whole. Okay. As a whole, I think this is my personal opinion. It's virtually impossible for a black person to be the definition of racism because in order to be a racist, you have to, as a race and a culture, single-handedly try to get rid of, destroy, diminish, belittle, abolish, whatever you want to say, another race. Black people in the time of history have never done that as a culture, as a people, as a country. We've never done that in Africa except now to ourselves. We've never gone to Europe or France and tried to mass annihilate an entire race. You, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I say it's virtually impossible for a black person to be the definition of racism. I want to stress that. The opposite of that is colorism. And why the black community is broken is because there is a, oh, you're gorgeous. You're light skinned. Or you're not that light. So you're black enough for me, but you're not that dark. You're pretty for a dark skinned girl. I didn't know dark skinned girls have good hair. That's the stuff we teach ourselves. Mm -hmm. So until we learn how to act amongst ourselves, other races, other ethnicities are not going to give us the respect that we deserve because we do it to ourselves. And it starts with us. That's why I pointed out the fact that I've never once specifically said anything about anyone's features, anyone's body. I don't, I don't do that because I know that is a problem in our community. I will crack jokes. I will throw shade with the best of them. But one thing I try not to do, and like I said, I'm not perfect. No one is. I try not to diminish appearance because that's something you don't get to pick. You can change it if you got enough money, but you don't get to pick it when you're born. And your heritage will never leave you. And that's why I, I, it's not a conversation that can happen over dinner. It, this is so deep. It's deeper than us. But I'm trying to, I guess, assist you in answering your questions the best way I can without making an issue out of it, dragging it out for years to come. It's literally been almost a year and a half now. You know, and a lot's happened in that time frame. Mm -hmm. So in the world and personally with everybody individually. So for me, I affect the people within arm's reach and I learn from the people within arm's reach and whatever research I choose to do. I don't know how to answer questions when I never single-handedly said you, 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 or you. I made a comment that I witnessed. I stand firm with that. I do believe there's a colorism issue in this group. It hasn't changed yet because I haven't spoken to anybody in a year. And in my opinion, if you recognize something on your own, a conversation would have happened a lot sooner than a year and a half later. Do you see what, why it's important? What, do, you get, do you get what I mean? Or 
am I just rambling? No, no, no. Okay. You're fine. I'm following. I just don't want to interrupt you. No, I know. I'm just because I, I, I want to break so you can say whatever. But I, like I'm looking at your eyes and trying to just understand no, if you I'm, get I'm, what I'm saying. I'm listening to you. I just don't want you to feel like you're you're saying that it's telling when somebody basically pulls themselves out. I don't I don't feel like you were talking to me. I was making a statement to be very clear that. I stand firm in how I feel. However, you may be able to point out a situation where I made you feel that way. And I wanted to know that moment. So I was that confident to be like, you're not talking to me. But I could say that and you could be like, nah, bitch, you actually are one of the people or the person that I'm talking about. But it's not a telling thing. There's nothing I'm not, it shouldn't be telling of, my comment shouldn't be telling of anything because my position is me standing firm that I didn't do that. Could you have experienced something that totally went over my head that came from my mouth to make you experience that? Absolutely, because I'm not perfect. And that's a, that, that, that was what I meant by that comment. It wasn't that I felt guilty about anything because, like you said, it's been a freaking year and a half. We've been, been through some shit, and I want to be able to go this way and not that way. Like, I am so done going that way. That's why I'm here. Some, somebody wanted to come. I was like, nah, I'm going to do this by myself. I do not need backup. I want to have this conversation. Me, Kristen, no one else. So why, why now? Well, it's not like we're pen pals or follow each other on Instagram or text or any of that. But, I mean, you know, if somebody wants to reach somebody, they could. So, honestly, why I now? I mean, the last conversation that, or if you want to call it a conversation that you and I had, we were talking this close and you were saying you were going to break my jaw. But so, what happened? What happened in that moment? Like, what led up to that? Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. What, what, what? what led up to that whole day? Me and you had no issues. What led up to that whole day? You I don't know. Remind me. Okay. We came to a pool party. Mm-hmm. We came to enjoy the day. Okay. We walk in. You stopped Cece to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. She said she didn't want to have a conversation. Jackie and I proceeded to the table. Then Malaysia walked over by you. So then I walked over by Cece so she wasn't by herself. And you pointed out that that was a problem. But it wasn't a problem for Malaysia to be standing by you. I don't I, remember all I'm the just, I'm I just, thought Malaysia I, was sitting there the whole time. No. It was just you two. We okay. just got there. Everybody was by the food from, okay. from how my memory serves me. Okay. So um, please don't quote me. It's been a while, but that's how my memory serves me. Me just standing there. I'm not even saying anything. Okay. You had a problem with it. I said, I'm just standing here. So she's not by herself. It's okay. support. You got support. She has support. Now it's even. I don't think I ever had an intention to ever have that situation end up the way it did. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I stand for what's right. And I try to do what's right when I'm analyzing the situation as it's happening. Mm -hmm. So if one person comes up, two people, okay, it's still, you guys are talking. When Cece removed herself, she was about to get attacked. She was about to get hit on the back of her head. I stopped it. I don't think so, but okay. That's my memory. I don't think anyone was going to hit anyone, but okay. Okay, so. Okay. I know, but that's not us. That's us. Nothing. CC and whoever were hitting, so that's that, not that, you. Everybody forgets what. There's cause and effect. You can't forget. Yeah, you can't just say, crazy. somebody got in my face and said I was no, going to break my jaw. You, I'm CC. talking about us. Okay, somebody CC. got in my face and said I was going to break your jaw. What led up to that? Okay, I go. told you guys, go talk. I extended my hand. I didn't even touch you. I don't remember touching you. I didn't feel your body. Shawnee touched you, she nudged you forward, but we both had our hands out like this, mm-hmm. and then you said, don't fucking touch me. Mm-hmm. And I said, I didn't touch you, and if I touched you, then what? Mm-hmm. That's me literally in the moment, not even planning it, acknowledging both sides. I did not touch you, but if I touched you, because you said I did, mm-hmm. so now I've acknowledged both sides, then what? Mm-hmm. And then you say, I get that. You were saying a lot of stuff, okay. and I am a person who uses my mouth before I will use my hands. Mm-hmm. And I, I've expressed that in the group many times, I will let you know what I will do if you keep pushing me. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, I know how to restrain myself. Mm-hmm. I have a lot to lose, so I don't just go around beating people up. That's not my thing. It's never been my thing. But if it comes down to it, I'm going to protect myself, as I should. 
you put your job, you have a mouth too, Kristen. Have so have you were saying stuff, I was saying stuff, and I was letting you know, you keep bucking up and I will break your jaw. And I honestly don't see anything wrong with that personally because A, I had enough restraint not to hit you. I had enough common sense to put my hands behind my back and say, if you really want to fight, then you can fight first. But I knew you didn't want to fight because you're not a fighter. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to fight somebody who's not a fighter because it's not a fair fight because I know how to fight. And I, I analyze things. I'm no fool. But at the same time, those words get blown out of context because it's OG. No. But, but if somebody says, I'm going to kill you because somebody else said that mm-hmm. who is not OG and it was, ha, 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 that's so funny. Even in the moment, right even in the that. moment when I'm getting my phone to defend myself to somebody who printed out paper text messages, mm-hmm. you literally said the printed out text messages are hilarious, but OGs are disturbing. That is a form of colorism because it's always a lighter person versus a darker person. And you, the person who is saying that you relate closest to my complexion, keep choosing the lighter side. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Here we go. In that edited scene, I said it, but it's not how it looked. But I what, see. Which, which, I know which just, portion? The, the, if you think about it, is those two? That's an interview, and they're separate. If you go back and look at them, they're two separate things. So how everyone else is seeing it, yeah, it looks like it. It absolutely. But does. it was one sentence. It wasn't a wild line. No, it was one two, sentence. It said, "But OG's receipts things. are disturbing." One sentence. So that so devil's advocate let's say that that it is one sentence that you feel like is a person that you feel like that is a form of color absolutely because it stems it's a small root of it it's a small root of it and you have to be fair if you are looking at something and you're just judging it openly your reaction would be different no uh, you're right i I wasn't let me let me be uh, let's say it's one sentence to be 100 with you, in my brain, there's nothing to do with colorism is that maybe that was petty of me and I just didn't like you at the time and like ever. So, so maybe, that might be colorist, so I'm just- Can I ask, can I ask you a question? What did I do to you? But, but we, in my opinion, we have a, a long history. No, 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 history from, from day one, because you came at me crazy from day one. What did I do to when you? When you and I get into it, we have, it's like, we're in two different places. So. From what I remember at your pool party, my first irritation was that you were four hours late. Three, but it was my birthday, right. so it doesn't matter. To me, that's not cool. Like, but you don't know what happened. And I don't cool. let people know my, oh, okay. I almost got in a car accident. She knows I almost got in a car accident. If I died in that car accident, then would it be cool? No, I don't have to explain myself to anybody. So, it's my party. But you can't say that I don't get to be irritated because we waited. Kristen, on you. I didn't invite you. I never met you. So at the end of the day, I feel like we're not filming a television show. We're not. This is reality. It doesn't matter. Not, this is fact. Oh, I never met you. So at the end of the I'm not going to play this game. I don't care about the cameras. Well, then let's be real. I was there because I get a check to be. Not because I knew you to go to You were the there party. because you wanted your check because you didn't have to film that. You could have filmed a pickup scene. Yeah, I wanted, yeah, I actually wanted okay, my check. Okay, exactly. So what? So let's be very, let's be very clear. And I helped you with your check. Let's be very clear. I, I helped you with your check I really don't, not doing because that. we're talking facts now? It's not that we're talking facts. It's like I'm trying to go right and we're going so far left. I but never wanted to, to have this negative. conversation to begin with. And me not, saying I helped you is not a negative thing. You're, you're being passive aggressive. So now I'm being passive aggressive. We want to talk about helping okay. you get people with checks. No one would sit in a room together because you can't film this by yourself. That's not true. So you, you you should have your own show. I didn't say that, but if you think I should, thank you. What? Mm-hmm. You're you supposed to. No, no, no. No, Jackie this doesn't is, have to do anything. Jackie doesn't have and to this, do this anything. This is between Kristen and OG, and I'm listening. Because I and don't they want are to do anything that's unnecessary. But and to me, this is unnecessary. Jen has something to say. You're, you're getting your check. <laughs> Jen has already gotten it. I didn't me. say you got your check. You said already, that. Jen, Jen has her already right. gotten it. She's had a conversation with me. Bitch, she could throw a table and da da da. We had this conversation, oh, really? and they the same color, so that ain't it. It's not. <laughs> God. No, I'm very. I can't have listen, this conversation. Not, no, not, if you don't get it. No, OG's talking. What'd you say? I, I no, I just I can't have a conversation with someone who pretends to get it one moment and doesn't get it. It's not and that I'm not pretending to get it, and I'm sorry for interrupting you. If I wouldn't waste my time, I'm tired as shit, and I miss my child. 
I would not waste my time if I did not come over here to get it. What I am not going to do is feel belittled or you're talking about I helped you get your check. Like we don't all sit here and do this. Then I'm saying, like for me, be real. We didn't know each other at your party. We didn't. I, isn't that what I let said? Let me say something. <laughs> isn't that what I, isn't I, what I, I said? Hold on, hold on. Isn't hold on. Isn't isn't that what let I me said? just say something didn't real quick. Didn't I say we didn't know each other at the party and she had an like, issue? You're acting Kristen, like I went. This conversation I, for me is closed. I'm done. Let me say something real You quick. can talk all you want. I'm, I'm because done. Because you guys sit up here and act like OG is super aggressive. Thank you. Right? I never said that no, just no, now. No, no, no. This is why. No. I'm not saying that you said that, but it's been said in the group. I don't know who the fuck said it. Okay. I'm not trying okay. to, I don't know, it's been over a year. Okay. But this has been said. Okay. 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 That OG is aggressive. I've never once seen her put her hands on anybody. I was not in Costa Rica, so I'm not going to speak on that. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay. But there have been people in this group that have thrown tables, they have thrown yes. drinks. Yes. No, it's because this is fact. They have, they they have, have thrown tables, they have thrown drinks. They have thrown all kinds of things. Nobody gets called aggressive and nobody gets held accountable. And nobody this gets girl, sued. No, and nobody gets I sued. Do, and honestly, nobody gets this. Did. And nobody we gets that. Be, like, we're going to say it. We need to be honest because it, all it's going to do is roll it back. A lot of us have, but I get both of your sides. You have to keep talking about it. When both I is don't done, have to let keep it talking be done about anything. And move on. And that be that. Period. But trying to figure out, and, and this is a conversation between A and B. It's not everybody. Else. That's how I feel, personally. And I've been called that millions of times. So I don't want it to be like. You've been called aggressive? Like no. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but you really? Right. Mm -hmm. So my, I'm not taking anything away from OG. I know in her particular. That's why I said leave it where it's at. This is a particular thing that she has experienced. So this is with her. That's all. I, I'm not saying you I'm put it in I'm not jumping in the colorism. She I'm did. just talking about the aggressive. What situation. you're saying is is correct. Do I think throwing a table is aggressive? Yes. I never said it wasn't. Have you ever asked me? I never said that it wasn't. And you no, never I said it I did not get into it with the person who threw the table for me to have an opinion about it. Now, if I've said OG is aggressive, it's because it's been towards me. What has happened between you and anybody else is y'all shit. They ain't got exactly. nothing to do with me. So if the table would have been thrown at me, would I have felt... I feel like it's aggressive and it was at you. I never said it wasn't. Did I ever say that that table but, throw was not aggressive? That's I not, never did. I think the problem lies where, yes, you do feel like it's aggressive, mm -hmm. but nobody says anything. It's only said because it's her. And Thank you. don't, not, don't, if I'm wrong, correct me. No, you're right. Go on. I'm not going to talk no more. I, I, I'm, it's beating a dead horse. I think that's where the problem I'm, comes. I want to be a live horse, so I want to, am I saying you're wrong? <laughs> Did you say a live I, horse? I do. Because otherwise we're, gonna, no. we're never Listen. going to Because the problem forward. is, Listen. yes, you think it's aggressive, but nobody ever spoke up and said anything. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if it was her that did it, it would be another form of aggressive. Right. So I think that's where the problem lies. I, I'm, I'm listening to what both of you guys are saying, and I'm really trying not to interject. But at some point, it's like, I get it. And I'm also hearing what she's saying. And now I'm completely understanding is because when these things happen, and everybody knows it's aggressive, everybody knows you shouldn't do certain things, but nobody gets held accountable. But people say things to her that they want to say to somebody else. And that's not Thanks. right. I, th I hear you. That's not right. I'm not saying that it is. And because I don't want to misspeak. I, I literally said that 10 minutes ago and it it was not I, I never said that you that I never said that you were incorrect about that. I didn't come over here. I delivered about other my answer. Stuff. I delivered my answer to your many questions the way I saw fit and somehow it got twisted to me belittling you. I'm not going to go down this path again. No. That's what you said. I'm not going to sit here and be belittled. I wasn't belittling you. I was simply you, answering your questions. That was I'm, my question about my check. I'm not. I just I'm wanted not. To make it you very brought clear. up your check first. I to make it very, like no, this is the. You said I got you a check. I, I said no. I said I've I've helped you. you and you said and you no no Kristen. You said to be clear. I'm. Oh, I only came to get a check. And I said maybe yes. But it doesn't have to be all that. It was I can take a deep breath. But it was easy for me to say. Oh, I'm just happy. Right. I took a deep breath because I'm happy you got you got that. I I I'm not making shit up. And if I'm wrong, I will 
dig back and try to admit it. All you have to do is have a regular Right, right. It's just exhausting. It doesn't have to go, well, I'm exhausting then because I would like to understand and hear. I could not come over here and we would have no exhaustion. Yeah, that's true. So... I'm not going to apologize for coming over here to try and understand. I, you don't have to apologize for anything you don't feel you need to apologize. I never, ever demand apologies. Like I said, I am I like when people come to a realization on their own. It's a beautiful journey. I think everyone should experience that. Epiphanies are great, and I would never tell somebody, you should apologize for this. You should No, if you don't feel like apologizing. But I also act, expect that reciprocated. Don't tell me to apologize if I don't feel it. Like, you would want an apology to be genuine. I think anybody who gets an apology wants it to be genuine. So it's better to come from a place of a genuine heart than a forced heart. You chose to come here. I don't see nothing wrong that happened. We talked, but I don't think anything was resolved. I don't know if you have a better understanding of what I'm telling you I experienced. And... I don't know how the, how other way to answer it. I'm going to answer it the way I see fit in the moment. And I'm not going to keep on talking about something. I'm really not. Like, I talked to you about stuff in San Diego. You came and talked to me at Phoebe's showcase. We talked and argued at the skin. I'm not going to keep doing this. That's not my style. When I make my mind up, I make my mind up. When it went left, and I own it, was the point of me saying, like, we are freaking filming a show. We gotta talk about shit that maybe we don't want to talk about and have do some shit that maybe wasn't first on your list. That was the only point that I was trying to make. So me saying that I, you and I getting into it, I don't even remember what, where or how it started. I know that I said something fucked up and have not made that mistake again. So. I need chapstick. I don't even know no more. You, what you said, I completely agree with. I'm not disagreeing with the fact that people have, other people have had aggressive behavior and maybe no one made them own it. That we saw, that we witnessed, that we heard. I'm not disagreeing with that. However, but it's not true. What's not true? What was I called? Aggressive, crazy, and weird, that that it's over the top, make it about her, all that. So we got to keep the honesty between all of us. Well, then there we go. But OG experienced things directly toward her. Mm -hmm. But if it gets around that it was, oh, OG's the only one experiencing this, then it's, oh, people are lying. Mm -hmm. So let's just be clear. What OG experienced was things that was directed towards OG. Mm -hmm. But other people have been called some of these names. So I just, okay. that's were you, just me okay, so, okay, so were you ever separated on a stage? No, I okay. was never separated My on point stage. Exactly. <laughs> I was never, I was ne but I probably would have talked to host. Have you ever separated. put your hand on anybody? Yes. Okay, and have you been separated on a stage? No. Okay, my point exactly. But I think what, what she was trying to, what Kristen was trying to say, OG, was that, and you said you want to hear it from the horse's mouth, some information was shared on the stage situation. When they came to my room and said, Jackie, there's a different thing. OG's not going to be on the stage. Would you come and talk to her? I said, absolutely. Take me there now. They took me and Cece there, and OG said no. Because I'm, of the I'm timing. I'm not doing it. Because you, of the if timing. You, if you hear Period. from the horses and I was and told, agree and accept it, oh, do you feel anything beyond I, I can't answer that question. I can't, just I can't answer that question because I haven't heard the time. information. But what I do know is um, I wasn't told. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm done. I'm done. Well, listen. Okay, okay.